So I came here to eat, or er, most, actually mostly to drink. Drink something very special that I haven't seen anywhere else in the world that I'll probably never try again. This is pretty exciting, but first impressions of this place, wow. This is luxury. I am inside of a hotel on a man-made island, the Burj Al Arab. And when you walk in, there are big old aquariums on either side. We're going up there. Wow. Look at that. This is a very famous luxury building hotel and you have to have a reservation, you have to spend a certain amount of money here. So this building is famous because you can see That's a waterfall inside here, or a fountain. So this building is famous because you can see it from this beach. It's on its own man-made island, and it is a beautiful hotel from the outside, but on the inside, it's actually the same design all the way up to the top when you walk in. So that is all the floors, all the hotel floors up here. So the room where I'm gonna eat, I believe is right here, right inside of this. Ready for an extremely crazy luxury experience. Something way different than I ever do on this channel and I won't do much else after this. Make sure you watch this all the way through because it's probably not happening again. Honestly, I feel a little out of place. This is very luxurious and I am not a luxurious person. So it is just me at this table. I have all these people serving me and can't wait to show you what I'm about to order. know I've been searching for the best coffee in the world and let's see if the most expensive coffee in the world is that first try of a golden coffee that is a weird sensation I had gold stuck in my mustache <laughs> Very creamy, very metallic. That, that is extremely good, yeah. I don't think the gold adds anything to the taste. Maybe a little bit of texture. I didn't know I liked gold until today. So, you have to spend the equivalent of about $50 while you're here and the golden coffee didn't quite cut it. It got close, but in order to finish, there's this. Sorry for oh. interrupting. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so, the chocolate that you wanted, that I don't have it, but I have some several kind of the dessert, so okay. maybe you can show it as well. Enjoy. Hey, thank you. All right, so besides the coffee, in order to spend the full 50, 50 to 60 dollars, I had to get one more thing. And this little thing, she said it's made with Arabic coffee. She said that one is the most Arabic tasting, and since I'm here, I thought maybe I'll try that. So, not sure the name of this, but looks like a little lotus flower or something. It's beautiful. 
living the Dubai life. Oh, one more thing, the coffee comes with this little side here, which also I'm not very familiar with. Uh, sweets and pastries, things like that, so I don't know what this is, but it has a little gold flake on it. I'm kind of afraid to eat this. I don't know if I do it with my fingers or with a fork. And in a place like this, you can't make the wrong decisions there or you'll look like a fool. I'll do it when nobody's looking. Okay, I asked to make sure this chocolate with the gold flake on it. It's like a chocolate mousse. I do eat it with a spoon. Let's see how good this very, very expensive thing is. Mmm, it is melting in my mouth. I don't know what it's worth, but it's worth worth a lot. Don't expect me to eat like this very often. What I'm spending today on this one meal, barely a meal, I'll probably be spending in a week at the next place. Not just gold, you get a little, a little design in there as well. It is good coffee, I have to admit. Now for the first bite of whatever this is. Ooh. That could be worth the price. That is outstanding. Arabic coffee flavor is so... It's like whipped cream on the top, but, but different somehow. It has a different flavor, it has a little bit of that coffee flavor. Maybe a little cinnamon or something in the bottom. It seems like some like granola or something. It's like a granola cookie at the bottom. So you can see by my view here, we're surrounded by water. There's just a moat around this place and one little road to get here and you can't get in unless you have a reservation or you show them that you're staying here for probably thousands of dollars a night. So look at this, this is the way we came in. My Uber had to show them my booking reservation just so I could get here. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at in my coffee now. Drinking gold. I'm going to very much enjoy this for a little while, for the next 10 minutes, and then I will talk to you guys in a second. I keep getting gold in my mustache. Never thought I'd say that. Do I just wipe off gold with a napkin? Or with my fingers, rub it on my pants? What am I supposed to do? Maybe I'll collect it, resell it. So this is a model of what we're in right now, the Burj Al Arab. This is made out of crystal. Okay, on the way out. Kind of sad this experience is over. Back to being a poor boy. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait till you see what's happening next. Another very fun, very different thing in Dubai. Something that you can't do anywhere else in the world. It's also a little bit expensive, so I'm not a poor boy yet. Ah, uh, they have this. This is what was on my coffee. This writing, this simple writing.
Okay, now I just have to figure out how to get out of here <laughs> off of this island. Hey, this is Mall of the Emirates, the Emirati, the Emirati Mall, one or the other or both. And there's something very peculiar here that you won't find at any other mall in the world. Let's go find it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> what even is this? This is snow. It's 110 degrees out, and there's snow right next to me. This is exciting. It's like I was just transported to Iceland. Okay, so they market it as about $60, but if you pay another like $10, then you get gloves <laughs> for $60. You get to snowboard or ski, and they give you everything you need, but they don't give you gloves. And for another 10, you get all these other things that I don't really want, but you get gloves, and we're in the snow, so I probably need gloves. Oh, this is crazy. It feels, it looks, it smells just like you're in a ski resort. Skiing or snowboarding, I think I have a choice here. And what should I do? Let me know in the comments. So I snowboard or ski, and obviously I'm gonna choose one without you, but, but let me know what you would do. Because I usually snowboard, but skiing I haven't done for years. That would be fun too. All right, getting fitted for a board just like I'm at Tahoe. For those of you from California, Lake Tahoe, that's where we all go snowing and skateboarding. Okay, so for that price you get all your gear, you get some boots, some socks, some kind of suit, gotta check this out in a second, and here's my board. Going up an escalator, like a mall escalator to get to a slope. I can't believe this. This is the stuff of dreams. In Dubai, they just dream things up and they make it happen. You ready? <laughs> Holy crap. This is actually cooler. This is bigger than I thought it was. Wow. Chairlift. Okay, got my board on. Let's hit the slopes. Let's do it. Oh, my GoPro doesn't freeze up. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. These are all these are all fake plastic trees here. Fake rocks below. A chairlift inside a mall. And look how far this goes up. It actually continues on around the corner. So it's not only this little part here, which I thought that's all it was. Look, a zip line. Wow. Let's look for someone. Eat it. Huh, little kid? Ate it a little bit. Outside, it's 110 degrees, or for everyone outside of America, 
42 or 43 degrees, I believe. And here it's, I think I heard it's negative eight or something like that. <laughs> right outside of this wall, it is the desert. Ooh, man down. So there's this slope for some people, and if you're a little better, I guess, you can go all the way up here to this one. down. Woo! Woo now here's the slope for the big boys. Big girls. I think it's time. Made it down without falling, but I was slow. It has been a while. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> My first fall. I finally crashed pretty much at the very end there, trying to pick up the speed. Try this again. Let's try a different one. Instead of the chair lift, this is a seat lift. You just kind of sit on this little seat that pulls you. Look at this, you basically sit on a giant straw. And a giant straw takes you up to the top. Ooh! Holy! <laughs> okay. That isn't what it looks like. Felt to get on the lift, and you can see the mall right here, and everybody enjoying their normal lives at Starbucks and stuff like that. They're all at restaurants, going to the movies, shopping, and I'm right here, 20 feet away. I can snowboard uphill. 